Today, just for fun, let's try out this face fusion to swap faces. Scroll down on this GitHub page to get to the installation links. Let's start with the basic. I'm going to select Windows for my platform. Here it has instructions to install Python version 3.10. I'm going to use Anaconda to install this, so I will create a new Conda environment with Python set to 3.10. Activate the new environment. Then it has installation for pip, git and ffm peg. But I already have these installed, so I will skip these. I will, however, install ffm peg using the conda command within the new environment. Then it has installations for the Visual Studio redistributables, but I already have these installed as well from a previous video, so we'll skip these as well. Let's go back to the previous page. I will clone the repository with this command. First I will go to the folder where I would like to install it. Using the cd command, I change directory to that folder, then clone the repository. Then we will install the requirements. Oops, I forgot to first CD into the new folder that was created from the git clone command. Let's try it now. It is finished, and now we are done. Let's try to run it. It has started up the local web server. Let's open it up in a new browser. I'm going to try this out using some images and videos that came with the Tunify app we installed in a previous video. The source image is the face that is going to get swapped out with the face that is in the target video to produce the same target video with the face from the source image. There are a lot of settings for enhancements and so forth. For now, I will leave everything default and start the process. Since this is the basic installation, it is only using the CPU. This ended up taking a long time and slowed down my machine to the point where OBS crashed. Let's take a look at the generated output. Haha, <laughs> that is pretty funny. Next, let's install the acceleration so that it uses the GPU. I already have the CUDA toolkit installed from a previous video, so I will skip this. But I will go ahead and install the CUDNN. I will select version 893 for CUDA 11. Let's download the zip file for Windows. After that is downloaded and unzipped, we will need to move the contents of the bin, include and lib folders, into the same respective folders in the CUDA version 11.8 folder. This folder is where you installed the CUDA version 11.8 toolkit. For me, it is in the CE Program Files NVIDIA GPU Computing Toolkit CUDA V11.8 folder. That is a tongue twister. Once that is done, we can go back to the installation instructions. Let's install the dependencies mentioned. First run this uninstall command. Then let's run the next command. Once that is finished, we are ready to run it with CUDA enabled. Let's use this command to run it.
I'm going to try some random picture and video from the same Tunify folder. After I dropped the files here, I received this error message about a DLL. For some reason, this DLL was missing for me from the CUDA v11.8 bin folder. I did a search for this DLL file and found it within the Anaconda environment path for face fusion. So I just copied it from here and pasted it in the CUDA bin folder. If you have the same error, you can probably find it at the same location. Otherwise, try doing a search in the, the Anaconda folder, and it might already exist from a different installation you have from Anaconda. This is the CUDA bin folder I had to paste this DLL into. If you can't find the DLL on your computer, you can also download it from a response to a thread on the NVIDIA forum I found after doing a lot of Googling. You can just download this zip, which contains the DLL. I will link to this in the description. Now with that DLL in the bin folder, let's give it another go. This time it worked. It created this output from this image and video, but I want to try something more interesting. I remember from a previous video for Wave 2 Lip HD, there was a picture of Mona Lisa and a video of President Kennedy. Hmm, I wonder. Let's give this a try. Drag and drop and start. It is finished. Well then, so there you have it. The install with the GPU acceleration for face fusion is now complete. Enjoy!